Okay, on the couch today we've got Senator Louise Pratt. Welcome to the couch. Nice to be with you, Fred. Now, I thought today we wouldn't talk so much politics. We'd talk more about reality, which is ah. all about cooking, living life, family, all that type of thing. So I got you in to cook something up for us because I'm sick of cooking up Slipper and all the other people from <laughs> politics. I'm sick of talking about budgets. But what are you making for us today, Louise? Well, this is one of my favourite recipes and it's an Asian noodle salad that's kind of evolved over time. It is my own recipe, but okay. there are plenty of versions of it on the internet and I'll put this one up and on my website. it's a Vietnamese one, isn't it? Yes, yeah. Right, well, Vietnamese, let's... Thai. I'll hold up the ingredients. You can tell us what they are. Okay, so these are rice noodles and you are. buy them dry and yep. you just boil them for a minute or two. That one. Some mint. Yep. Some spring onion. Onion there. Coriander. Coriander. Some people don't like coriander, do they? Do you like coriander? I don't mind it. Good. We'll put it in. So we've got brown sugar. Yeah. Or you can use palm sugar, but I'd, I couldn't be bothered grinding no, that up today. It takes too long. And what have we got here? Uh, soy sauce. Yep. Sesame oil. And, and fish sauce. Fish sauce. And we've got some chicken there and some veggies, haven't we? Yes, yes, yes. So lime, which is for the dressing, and this is an Asian radish. Well, I'm glad you said what that was, because I was a bit concerned what, where the batteries daikon go. Daikon radish. <laughs> Have you actually peeled You're a cheeky that? man. Yeah, I, I have pre-peeled it just to make things nice and If I didn't for say it, somebody today. else would. And, you know, we get on really well. <laughs> Louise, what would you like me to do? Okay, well, let's start by I'll get you to just put a, right. small, a one layer of noodles in the, in the bottom there. Oh, that's a good one, one layer. Okay. And then you can put a little layer of chicken and I'll start getting in with the other... Louise, that you can add as well. Tell our viewers, you're a WA senator, aren't you? But you go over to Canberra quite often, don't you? Yes. Is so it, tell us. About 20, more than 20 weeks of the year. So just about that much, Fred, and we'll start putting on the different layers of things. Okay. About 20 weeks of the year, I'm away. And are you glad you're a WA politician? Something with all the, I call it the crap we talk about these days about just all the the minority government issues, and every time someone's looking for something to slip up. Yeah, it is nice being on the other side of the country. Yeah, it is nice, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. And great to get out to places like the Kimberley. And Do you ever get sick of flying from Perth? Is it a long long week when you've got to fly over to the, the Parliament? Yeah. Sit in your office there and come back? That's you right. stay there, don't you? Yeah, I, I stay with some friends over there. And uh, But it's not just sitting weeks. Like last week I took mm. five flights and was in... Four different that would be very tiring. Yeah, it is. It and what is drives fun. you? What is your burning ambition to do this? Well, I, I really want to help Australia be a more equal society because I think mm. we're better off when we do that. And talking about equal, you've got an equal partner that's on the show today, Aaron. Yes. When do you ever see him? Uh, well, we see, he, we see each other here in Perth, but yeah. sometimes he'll come over east. Do you and miss spend your partner? Do you find you can still have good relationships when you never see them? Uh, well, well, I think it, you know heartness I mean. makes, distance makes the heart grow fonder, oh, as they okay. say. And so that means um, uh, that we have to work at kind of staying connected hmm. when we're apart. Yeah. Sounds so good. can you put a little sprinkle I of will, those thank you very much. in? And, uh, I'm Just gonna, a little sprinkle? No, yeah, and well, more? a bit, bit more, a bit more. And maybe some chicken. How much chicken would you like me to put in? Uh, of course, we're using the chicken <laughs> fruit chicken today. Yeah, just... Um, it's our uh, favourite chicken. Put, put it in with... Um, yeah, Do you want me to sort of spread it out spread or it just out. throw it in? Spread it out. Now what we've about got the chunks? <laughs> uh, no, no, leave the chunks out. Thank you. <laughs> that's all good. I thought you might have left that for me. I thought, oh, that's a big... Well, not the paper, but... Actually, that looks quite nice. Very it's getting colourful. there. It's getting there. Now what's you what's your some... favourite type of food to cook? Is it Thai food, Asian food? Or do you, do you uh, like I Italian? I quite like... Uh, winter foods, mm. so your casseroles and stuff like that. Okay. Yeah, yeah, love that. Some of this? Yep. This is coriander, isn't it? That's mint. The mint. coriander's here, so you can... Do you want some, some of that as well? Yep, put some of that in as well. Now, some people find coriander a bit strong for Asian food. Do, what do you think? I love it. I is love that it. too Actually, much? you could break that up for us a little oh, bit. thank you. Just break it up a little bit. I shall break it up for you now. <laughs> good, good. <laughs> Oh, it's all good. Now, there's a great new scheme called the National Disability Scheme. Yes. Insurance scheme. How does that work and what's going to happen with that? So, uh, I'm hopeful that, uh, well, it will, we've already announced, excuse me, Fred, mm -hmm. that uh, at the up-and-coming budget that yep. we're going to take the first steps towards it. Uh, essentially, at the moment, people with disabilities who might require high levels of care mm -hmm. um, don't, um, there's no guarantee that they're going to get it. So, they've kind of got to go begging to state governments and community organisations. Yep. 
whereas now um, people will have a guaranteed entitlement under the National Disability Insurance and Scheme. the opposition, I believe, are supporting it, which yeah. is a change, because normally we've had all no's this year and yeah. last year, but now they're saying yes to this, this is good. Yeah, it's a great labour idea uh, that we're really pleased it's now coming to fruition. Can people find out more information about the National Disability Insurance Scheme? Yeah, yeah, there's, there's plenty. A... There's been a great community campaign being run yep. in support of it, the NDIS, so if you just Google NDIS, and then there's a bunch of government information uh, available as well. Now, what have you put in there? You put okay, so we've got our lime. Yep. Our soy sauce. Yep. Uh, our sesame oil. Mm -hmm. And uh, a little bit of fish sauce. I like sauce sesame oil. The that. fish sauce, if you put too much, it can be salty, can't it? Yes, yes. But the secret to this dressing is, in fact, the perfect Ooh. balance of sweet, salty and sour. But that we haven't put nice. any sugar in that yet, so that'll balance back out all oh, of that Oh, that's sourness. what was missing, the sugar, I thought. We'll now balance sugar. back out with that. Um, I think sugar's a good part of a lot of food. <laughs> I love it too. I put sugar in my curries, I put it in my pasta sauce, it adds a bit of flavour to yeah. it. And also a little bit of diabetes. It's quite nice. <laughs> now, can you mix that up for us a yes. bit more? Yes, do you want me to use these good. hair clips? Yeah, good. And I'm just going to see whether our dressing... You know is. what? This looks awesome. We're going to give some to our audience afterwards. Mm, needs more lime and more sugar. Well, you're the boss. Yeah. Then this just to be all coloured through, eh? Like, you got to mix it all up. Yeah. <laughs> These are a little bit hard to use. Louise, is there anything part of the job that you hate, like you really don't like doing as a poly? I know you do Oh, everything. look, I'm not particularly good at yelling at people in question time. That Some people... It's one of those things I don't particularly yep. like, but other people get right into. It's not my, it's really not my thing. You like to do the job and not the personality. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah don't yeah. blame me. I was, a bit, I was a bit like that at school in that the, there were the same people who were the boys in the classroom that always throwing mm. barbs and, and yelling. They're the same personalities in Parliament. They used to have an old saying, I don't remember if it was John Howard or one of the people, they used to knock on the table and say, who's that? And they'd say, Tony Abbott, that's all he does is knock. Now tell me, Fred, does that need more sugar? No, that tastes quite nice. The lemon really comes out in that. <laughs> good, good. All good, right. Beautiful. What do we do? Well, toss we it in there? we might just toss that Go for on. it. And would you like me and to toss that And now you in? can mix that up. And I haven't put any chilli in there yet, but we'll just whack a little bit of chilli. Beautiful, in Louise. And we've got Aram sitting over there waiting to talk to us about Inspire. He's your partner. Yes. So we're going to be sitting around very eager to listen to what he's got to say because Inspire is a great organisation and I'm so glad that you support each other with the jobs that you do for the public. Yeah, yeah. It's fantastic. He's a great support to me and it's it's good we have a similar interest in kind of helping people. So will we ever see one of those shows at home with uh, Louise Pratt? <laughs> you know, like at home with Julia? I don't, I don't think so. No. Hopefully, hopefully I'm not that interested. Oh, hopefully you're not that interesting. Sounds like you are very interesting to us. It, that looks awesome. I think they want us to try it, Louise. All right. I'm well, going to put the chilli in. All right, bit of chilli. You know what we'll do? We might throw to the Inspire and then we'll come back right at the end and we'll try it. How does that sound? Sounds great. Sounds good? Thank you, Nisha. You get all the good jobs. I've only got the food here to worry about. <laughs> Louise Pratt, Senator for WA Labor Party. We've made a beautiful Vietnamese chicken Thai Vietnamese salad with all these beautiful things earlier mm. on. You're going to serve some for us, Louise? Yes, let's get into it. Now, if it. people want to see this again, please go to our website, which is yep. thecouch.com.au, and Louise will actually link it to her website. Do you know your website? Yeah, it's louisepratt.com. So beautiful. Easy. Oh, well, yours is easy, isn't it? <laughs> First politician that made something simple. Gee, you should be That's Prime Minister. Right. There could be a vacancy there soon. I don't Interested? think so. Interested? No, I wouldn't want to be at this time of the year. Let's try this, Louise. Tell Am me I... what you think, Fred. I'm telling you, I'm thinking I can't use chopsticks. <laughs> Look at that. I'm just pretending I can use them. There you go. Mm. Mm. <laughs> that, was, that is actually beautiful, Louise. We need to Thank take you. a break. This is Louise Pratt. This is as beautiful as our Senator Louise Pratt. Thanks for being on the couch. It's been my pleasure. Good luck in Canberra with the budget. Thank you. Come back and tell us how it all goes. Um, we'll look forward to it. Take a break. We have more after break. See you then.